Hi, are you an Amazon seller trying to automate emails to send to your buyers? Do you already have an email, automated email service, but are trying to look for other services that are out there that can be helpful in your business? My name is Owen Kennington. I'm an Amazon e-commerce specialist with my Amazon guy. And in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Helium 10's follow-up tool and maybe help you set it up. Um, so Helium 10 is, if you don't already know, is an extremely useful set of tools that specializes in Amazon and has a variety of different tools that you can use. Um, one of my personal favorites that I've been working a lot with lately is a tool called Follow-Up. So follow-up, once it's connected to your Amazon account, will automate emails to your buyers for you and can help, which can help in a very variety of different ways. Um, I think one of the most useful, important things you should be looking for in an automated email, email tool is its ability to help you get reviews on your products. And the timing of those emails and the way those emails are phrased is very important. And he and follow-up can help you with all of that. So right now we're looking at the follow-up dashboard. There's a lot of very useful information here that you can glean. Um, the first little box right here tells you how many messages have been sent in the time period that you have selected. Currently we're at the last seven days. Um, there's an option for how many orders have shipped over the last little bit, which can be really useful for um, helping you get just the right sort of email template that you need. Um, especially useful right here is the open rate of your email. So this will tell you how many of your buyers received emails from you and opened those emails. It might, it'll probably be pretty low in most cases, but um, right here we're looking at 30%. That's pretty good. Um, if it's getting to be under 10%, then you really want to look at your email templates. Make sure that your subject line is engaging and that it doesn't just appear as spam to the buyer. Um, over here, another useful tool is the opt-out rate. Amazon will let your buyers opt out of third-party messaging systems from people that they buy. And so this will tell you how many of the, your buyers have opted out of these systems and aren't even receiving these messages. Um, down here, we just have a graph that kind of tracks these, um, lets you know how your monthly message limit, depending on your plan and um, over here, we have the different tools that you can use for setting this up. The first one that we're going to go check out is right here called email templates. This is the basis for everything that you're going to be building. So when you click on this, you can see that you have your current templates, the way that they're set up right now. And you also have a list of pre-made templates. I would highly recommend taking advantage of these pre-made templates when you're generating a new email template, especially if you're going to be requesting reviews. Amazon is very, very strict about the sort of language and requests that you can make when asking a buyer for a review or for any feedback. And if they detect that there's at all anything that could, could um, be against their rules for those sorts of interactions with buyers, they will restrict your account from sending proactive automated email messages, which you can work around and get reverse, but it takes a lot of work and is really just worth preventing in the first place. Um, so to show you for this one, I'm just gonna make a new email template. I'm not gonna save it. So when you click new template, you'll come up to this window. You can type in your subject here. Um, we'll say, thank you for your purchase of, and then this is one of my favorite tools um, for developing your template. You'll want to have links to your item and stuff. You can have the heat follow up, tailor the email to the buyer based on the order they made. So if we put in the product short name here, now on this side, this is what we type in, this is what we make, and then over here is what the message preview, or what the message will look like. So this will help you make sure that it'll look the way you want it to for the buyer. 
So you can see we typed in product short name, and over here it came up with decorative helium 10 cup, which is their, def their default um, preset for the order. Don't worry, it will show up correctly for your buyer. These tags over here are super useful in building your listing. Um, you can do things, you can insert images of the product and it'll pop up like this. And if you look carefully here, the number currently set to 500 is the image size. You can adjust that just by typing it in there. Personally, I like about half the size of that. Um, it doesn't get in the way of the text and it, I think it just looks good for what you want to go for. Um, other tags that are you'll probably use pretty frequently are maybe the order purchase date, the date they ordered it. It'll come up with a randomly generated date just there for the template. And you can hit a include link for leaving feedback. Um, obviously, you'll want a more personalized email message in here. Um, we're not going to go through in depth how to write emails to your buyers. That should probably be its own video. Um, once you're done creating your email template here, you'll make sure you want to have it saved a name that you can remember that will keep, set it apart from the other templates. And then you'll click Save. Um, I'm not going to save this one since it's just an example. The next thing you're going to do after you have successfully set up your email template is you're going to go over here to the left again, and you're going to click on automation. So automations are the triggers for sending emails for your account, and we'll just launch right into how to make one of those. Um, once again, if you click the new one, you have a number of pre-made automations. These are really helpful for specific circumstances that you want to set up. We'll just create one from scratch. So when you create one from scratch, it'll come up with two um, buttons on the top that you need to worry about. The first one is the filters. This will let you determine which buyers get this email and which buyers don't. So um, one of the preset filters that comes up is refunded orders. This means that if you're asking for reviews, the um, buyers that, re re that refunded their orders or maybe ordered the wrong one will not get this email, which will help you. There's a number of other filters you can do. You can filter by marketplace, channel. You can include exclude certain SKUs or include certain SKUs from this email list, shipping country, product name, ASIN. There's a whole bunch of filters you can choose to help make sure that these emails get to the right people. Um, and the other big button that you need to worry about is the um, trigger button. There's a number of triggers that you can choose from. You can have this email get delivered when uh, they open an email, one of your other emails. You can have it trigger when their order ships, when their order is delivered, um, if their order is refunded, and a few other things. So in order to continue on from here, um, once you have decided on your trigger, you'll click on the plus down here, and this is the action that will um, Helium 10 will take once that trigger has been met. So say the trigger is the order shipped. We want, let's say we want to send an email template seven days after the order has been delivered. The buyer has had time to interact with your product and use it and kind of incorporate it into their lives. So we'll click after the order shipped, we want them to wait for seven days confirm and you see it added that action down here. And then um, after we've waited for seven days, we want it to deliver the email template. So you click add another action, send mail. And then here are all the templates that you've made and saved. So we'll just click random one right here. And this is what an example of what a finished um, automation might look like. And this, once you have saved this, um, that it will automatically start sending out messages should be instantaneous from then on out to all of your buyers that meet the criteria for the filters. Um, should be noted, it, is, it does not do this retroactively, um, it, so you don't need to worry about it just spamming all of your buyers that have already purchased stuff. Don't save. 
And yeah, so the other things you can do on this, on this tool, there's an order tab where you can look at the orders and the emails, the automated email that got sent from it. You can look at your products and what automated emails are associated with those products. You can blacklist buyers. If you're having issues with buyers, you can prevent, or if they have issues with you and request not to be contacted, you can blacklist, blacklist them here so they won't get any of your email communications and adjust your settings up here. So that is about it for setting up your follow-up. If you have any other questions about follow-up or automated emails, if you need help setting up those automated emails or need recommendations, or if you just need any help whatsoever with your Amazon account, feel free to pop on by over to our website at myamazonguy.com. We can help coach you and we have a variety of services that will help you find the sort of success on Amazon that your business is seeking. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next video.